As the holiday shopping season approaches, we're on your side tonight with a list you need to hear about. Yeah, it's different named toys and why they could be hazardous to your kids. Sydney Holdridge talked with the experts at Prisma Health to learn more about the Treble and Toyland report. The last thing that anyone wants is for uh, a toy that was purchased to bring joy to a child to eventually end up harming them. It's called Trouble in Toyland, a report highlighting toys that could pose danger to children. At the top of the list, toys with choking hazards. The general rule we like to think about too is with small toys is if it can fit inside a toilet paper tube, it's too small for a three-year-old. The choking hazards uh, include magnets. So this product, the magnets, unfortunately, here uh, can break off. One thing we do recommend to parents, if it goes up the nose, to try to blow into the kid's mouth to pop it out right away. Toys that make loud noises can also cause long-term health issues. Obviously, a kid is playing with it normally, but if he sits there and holds it near him, that can cause permanent damage to their hearing, which then can cause... Uh, delays also. Another hazard is hidden toxins in the toys. Slime is one that uh, had a lot of boron in it. Experts say toys made before 2008 don't meet current lead safety standards. Lead is something that we don't want kids exposed to because that can cause developmental delay in their brain. Another threat to keep in mind is privacy with Bluetooth connected toys. A product can connect to unsecure Wi-Fi. Anything that's goes over that can be hacked into and so avoiding those so there's certain dolls that have those abilities. We have the link to the Trouble in Toyland report on our website at WLTX.com. In Columbia, Sydney Holdridge, News 19, WLTX. Well, this comes just a few days after another consumer safety group released its annual list of the worst toys for the holidays. Okay, World Against Toys causing harm or watch unveiled its list and it includes the rapid fire nerf gun the ice cream scented nickelodeon slime and a plastic power rangers claw a realistic toy gun a pogo trick board a yeti teddy bear and a pull along caterpillar toy for infants they all made the list the nonprofit says many of the products present choking and eye safety hazards the group warns you as a parent and grandparent to be especially careful when it comes to toys bought online when a purchase is made on the internet Parents don't, and, and toy shoppers don't have the opportunity to physically inspect a toy. So we want to remind toy shoppers when that toy is delivered before handing it to a child, get into the packaging, inspect the inserts, the box, and the toy itself for warnings and instructions and hidden hazards that may not appear on the website at the time of ordering. An industry group points out most of the toys come with manufacturer's warnings. In a statement, the Toy Association says the list Quote now, quoting now, needlessly frightens parents and all toys sold in the United States must meet more than 100 rigorous safety tests and standards.